you can see, just put some wood on on the bike. I'd, I'd load up more. Unfortunately, mosquitoes are just freaking relentless today. The mosquitoes this year are going to be bad. I, Vancouver Island's usually pretty good when it comes to mosquitoes. Not like super good, but not to the point where you're just getting attacked. I got to get the heck out of here. All right. That should be enough wood for for my evening anyway. Uh, yeah, let's get the heck out of here. It is nasty out. No, uh, I just I just had some strapping. I don't have tie downs, but oh, this should be good. so weird to have a swamp right there. There must be some sort of lake through there where that creek was running, right? Hmm. I don't know. I just don't know. Anywho, it's getting on to be five o'clock and I got my phone charging with my USB. So when you don't have it on airplane mode out in the forest, man, that battery, it's, it's terrible. Oh, nice. Thanks, bud. It's a dust bowl. Well, I think what I will do is I think the wood's going to be okay. It's... It's on there strong. It's a little bit wobbly, but you know, it should be all right. I don't plan on doing any super crazy riding right now. But I do know of a place, I call it like the forest phone booth and I'm going to take uh, take you all there and see how that works because like once you see it on video it, you'll be like you'll be like holy crap that's that's hilarious because we are in the middle of nowhere and I like to try to hit high ground to find the phone um, reception but oh, that's up in my eye that's awesome all right so we're take it right here That's another thing you can do to collect firewood is to just go to other people's old campsites that have left and a lot of people that bring in really good firewood um, <laughs> they just leave it behind because they're like you know maybe hung over or whatever you know and they're packing up the trailer or the tent or whatever they're like oh just leaving the firewood who cares you know I had enough right so that's another thing you can benefit by ATV and around here when you're out here camping just Go to other people's campsites that have left and you just take their wood. And you never have to buy wood for the season, man. Okay, the uh, place that we need to go is coming up pretty shortly. <laughs> is that your underwear? Wow. Those were actually pretty nice. They looked like uh, Ralph Lorenz, but. Oh, they got this open. Oh, that's great. I'll have to show you guys. Apparently, they're doing some clear cutting in there. That was the rumor around the campsite, but. So, I don't think it's yet. 
but it's, it's pretty close. It's fairly close here, okay. Was it at the top of this hill? See, I can't remember. I think it was. Oh yes, it was, and then you make a left because Beaver Tail is right here. I make a left. Wow. Sorry, everyone. I worked the graveyard last night, and I only got like three hours sleep. So give a guy a break. All right, here we go. Here's the here's the forest phone booth. Now it's right around. So now this is how sensitive the phone booth is. Check this out, people. So I'm going to open up my thing here, and I'm going to grab my phone out. Come on, Mr. Phone. There you go, buddy. Right on. And it's literally within a few meters. It's 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 that ridiculous. But come on, are these gloves. Oh, these gloves work. Oh, kind of. Come on. Okay. Apparently not. That's okay. I can handle it. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So let's get off that. So now it says no service. So it's searching and I'm driving. And now you literally got to drive, you know, like five kilometers. Because, you know, you're in the middle of, well, <laughs> something, something Alabama, right? You guys know what I mean. I'm trying to be PG on my, on my YouTube channel. It's not easy. All right, so no service, no service. Come on. You got to keep going slow. You can't get impatient. So it's searching. Come on, so I know it's around here. It's just like a really small, like, you know what? I should mark it with a ribbon or something on the side of the road so I don't have to do this every time. Okay, now it's searching. So, yeah, this is really close to the spot here. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, like one bar will pop up. Come on, buddy. Come on, searching, searching, searching. Searching, searching, searching. Oh, yep, there's the one bar. You see what I'm talking about, guys? That's the one bar. So this is the location. So we can't move from this location if we're going to make a phone call. So... It's, yeah, see, I'm getting emails and stuff because I've been out of, I've been out of town for a few hours, so there it is. This is the uh, forest phone book, or phone booth, sorry. This is it. So, as you can see, we are in the middle of nowhere, but this one little tiny spot right here, I don't know how it works. This uh, has got service. So, you just got to slowly drive along this road. I'm not sure what branch it is, but it's on the other side of Beaver Tail Lake, and you can have service, so it's pretty cherry. Anyway, I'm going to make my phone call to my father-in-law. I'll be back, guys.